So imagine that you are running in a straight line, and all of a sudden, someone tells you to stop immediately, or turn right immediately. You won't be able to do either, or at least not immediately. It will have to be a gradual change. This can be applied to almost every object. A ball that is at rest will stay at rest, and if a ball is in motion, it will stay in motion. This is what is explained in Newton's first law, or the law of inertia. We have talked about this law in other videos, such as what is inertia, or falling orange. It states that an object at rest will stay at rest, and an object in motion will stay in motion unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. This can also be taken as a definition of inertia. The key point here is that if there is no net force resulting from unbalanced forces acting on an object, so if all the external forces cancel each other out, then the object will maintain a constant velocity. If that velocity is zero, then the object remains at rest. And if an additional external force is applied, like someone kicking a ball, the velocity will change because of the force. The amount of the change in velocity is determined by Newton's second law of motion, which we will talk about in another video. So you might be wondering, what is the difference between inertia and Newton's first law? Well, the difference is simple. Inertia is related to an object's mass. The more mass an object has, the more inertia it has, like this kettlebell. Now, time for some examples of Newton's first law. For example, an air hockey table. When the air is on, then the friction on the table is significantly reduced. But when you turn off the air on the hockey table, then the friction increases. Friction, in this case, is an unbalanced force. Friction works against gravity to slow a person's descent on a slide. Friction is a force that occurs whenever two objects rub against each other, such as a slide and a person's backside. Without friction, a slide would accelerate the rider too quickly, resulting in possible injury. So to sum up Newton's first law for you, objects continue to do what they are doing unless some external force acts on them. That's how I remembered it. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe.